Hi friends, I am Ruxana Murtaza. You are watching me on my YouTube channel. In this video, we will going to talk about uh, one university of China. It has announced admission for this year, and uh, those students who want to apply for this scholarship, CSC, which is the fully funded scholarship, you can apply and. Um, uh, no matter you know whether China has opened their boundaries or not but I suggest you to apply for it go for it give it try and uh, let's see what will be uh, written what will be uh, what will be happen to you and uh, just your job is to go for it and apply it and uh, here I will uh, make you understand how you can reach the website of this university and it's under it comes under the csc scholarship and uh, fully funded scholarship each and everything is free for you and uh, you need to write here the name of minzu university of china and um, uh, then you will see uh, 2022 and 2022 three scholarship this year scholarship and uh, here you can see here the you can click this page and uh, when you will click this page things will be appear for you in this way the way I just um, here you can see you know the link of this page as well as you know you can see here this is the link you can see first first of all thing is that you know it the, the, you can see here what is the deadline and uh, uh, when what to apply and uh, first thing is that there will be uh, explained for you the benefits of CSC scholarship what are the benefits and what are the documents that are in need for this scholarship first of all thing is that if we are talking about the benefit you know benefit your tuition fee will be covered accommodation charges living expenses health care insurance these things are awarded for you and uh, there is a return that's stipend for bachelor's undergraduate program 2500 rmbs and um, if we are talking about the master's program you can see 3000 rmbs and uh, for phd program 3500 rmbs so these are the um, stipend which will be given to you except your admission and uh, registration and uh, living uh, and uh, as far as uh, your uh, your university fees are a part of these things this amount will be given for you just to uh, as uh, your living expenses and the uh, application procedure for Minzu University or for CSC scholarship, you know, the application system is the same as the other university. And uh, here you can see, you know, you need to be fill uh, the uh, go to the scholarship uh, scholarship session of Minzu University of China website and uh, and uh, locate CSC scholarship. There will be uh, you need to be fill the CSC form as well as the university form and uh, you can see they are they are telling you that csc form fill the csc form on the portal and um, you need to be filled to application one is the university website another is the csc website and uh, fill um, you know after filling all these things you need to choose the category b and um, I'm, once again i'm telling that don't think of category a its time is over and uh, now you can go for category b so only category b deadline is left and um, you can apply for it this is time for category b and uh, documents you need to be uploaded in 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 application and um, so application fees uh, if it has application fees you need to be submit it attach all the documents with the downloaded application form send uh, you know you need to be sent these documents to the university and uh, then later that you can wait for the result and um, again if the candidate has already acceptance letter from professor desired university then you can uh, you have a greater chance of admission are selected and uh, here you can see how to fill the uh, CSC form and uh, uh, Minzu University portal, University portal, and you can go for it and uh, read out it, and uh, then uh, then you, you can do it. And uh, how to submit CSC form? This is just for you. You know what are the documents that are needed? Two recommendation letter. All the documents that are required to be submitted along with the application form are listed in the, these are the documents which are listed below. 
and uh, two recommendation letter and uh, transcript passport uh, passport attested study plan uh, study of purpose and uh, study uh, research plan acceptance letter also required for specially phd's and master students and uh, if you have um, if you have english proficiency certificate then you can apply uh, and if you have uh, ielts or toefl then it will be better for you and uh, make sure that whether university you you separate application to be submitted by portal along the website uh, along the application form if there is no need to submit separate uh, you know you, uh, you can uh, you can whenever you open the university portal there will be written that whether you need to be fill or whether you need to be send uh, university form as well as the university form both csc form and the university form in a separate way if they require in this way you know then you need to be uh, send them in a separate way and um, in the application form there will be you know there will be blanks for you you need to be fill all these things and uh, review your application you know before submitting yes there will be uh, it will be important for you submit your application and send documents uh, to the iso you know international office and the things are considered to be you know what are the things that you need to be keep in your mind while you are filling this form you just read it uh, read it out by yourself and uh, these are the precautions for you you need to be uh, read all these things before doing uh, before submitting application form and here you can see you know if you will click this page you will see the application form and uh, you need to be fill all these things here and uh, you need to be fast what to do when to do and these all the things for you and uh, you need to be uh you need to be apply here and uh, you need to be uh, just fill your form and uh, i wish you best of luck and uh, uh, i will see you in next video till that allah peace